I'm Matt Bouchard here in New York City for REIT Week 2019, NARIT's Investor Conference. Joining me today is Samit Roy, CEO and President with Realty Income. Thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure. Now, you recently announced your first international acquisition. Can you discuss what you liked about this opportunity and why this made sense to expand internationally for Realty Income now? Sure. Uh, so we just uh, announced a 429 uh, million British pound transaction with Sainsbury's and um, it was our first foray into the UK market, into the international market. Um, what we liked about this particular transaction uh, was that you know, it is very much along the lines of what our investment strategy is all about. We pursue uh, retail uh, transactions that have operators that have one of three characteristics. Um, either they're low price uh, component to their business model, they're non-discretionary in nature, and or they have a service orientation. And Sainsbury definitely falls into the non-discretionary category. Uh, we like the UK market uh, primarily because it is a very stable uh, market with very high population and density. Um, but with very limited retail supply. And that dynamic uh, is a very propitious environment for uh, real estate investment. Um, the reason around timing uh, was uh, something that we looked at internally and we thought about you know, strategically how do we continue to look at adjacent avenues of growth. And when you think about um, you know, what is the only difference in this particular transaction vis-a-vis -vis things that we have done uh, historically for 50 years here in the US, uh, was the geography. Uh, outside of that, you know, it's again one of the top operators in an industry that we like and uh, in a market that is very similar to the, to the markets that we have here in the US. Um, we, we dug into the UK market and the European market and we realized that there is a possible uh, market that, that represents about $8 trillion of real estate, which is twice what we have here in the US. And what we also realized uh, was that you know, the type of products that we pursue, the type of transaction that we just recently announced, you don't have institutional quality, large-scale, uh, you know, net lease companies pursuing those types of transactions there. So we felt like that there was a vacuum that we could come in given our size, scale, and uh, cost of capital advantage and potentially take advantage of. And as the company nears a total enterprise value of $30 billion, can you discuss how Realty Income has benefit, benefited from that increased size and how it can continue to leverage its size to its advantage? Sure. Um, you know, one of the size is definitely one of our biggest competitive advantages. Um, and, um, you know, if you look at uh, where we are today, we didn't have to change our uh, capital structure to um, end up getting two A ratings from S&P as well as from Moody's. And we are one of a handful of companies that has two A ratings. And that is a direct result of the, just the sheer size of the company and the diversification that the size brings. And having those ratings obviously impacts our, our cost of capital uh, at a, uh, on a very advantageous basis. And we do uh, end up having one of the lowest cost of capitals uh, in, the, in the industry. Uh, the second benefit um, and, and potentially a very important differentiator for us is the fact that we are able to chase very large scale sale leaseback transactions. So for instance, uh, we did over a billion dollars of sale leasebacks with 7-Eleven without running into any concentration issues, which no other net lease company can, can um, make that particular statement. And so um, we're able to enter into these very large scale uh, uh, transactions. And because we are the only potential buyers of, of those types of assets at that scale, we're able to get better pricing. And so that sort of translates into anywhere between 25 to 50 basis points of uh, um, you know, higher cap rates, which obviously accrues to our benefit. And finally, 2019 marks the company's 50th anniversary. What are some of the core lessons that Realty Income has, has learned and embraced over these past 50 years that, that will help it going forward for the next 50? Yeah. 
we, it's, it's an incredible milestone, 50 years of, um, of our existence. I just spent some time with our founders during our uh, shareholding uh, meeting uh, a few weeks ago. And it's also our 25th year anniversary of being listed on the New York Stock Exchange. And you know, we were talking about the mission statement uh, that the company has, which is essentially to provide a monthly dividend income to our shareholders that grows over time by investing in real estate that has a very predictable cash flow stream with very low volatility. It's a simple tenet, but it's, it's one that every employee uh, within the four walls of realty income has, has absorbed and it's sacrosanct and every decision made is made with, with that thought in mind. And that has served us tremendously well. Um, you know, there are two areas that we focus on. One, which is around how do we invest? You know, the capital that has been uh, uh, bestowed upon us by our shareholders, how do we take that capital and what are the types of investments we make. And we are incredibly disciplined in, in, in identifying the, the areas that we would like to invest in and then stick very close to, to our knitting on, on being able to execute on that is how do we go about financing these acquisitions to maintain a very conservative balance sheet structure is another one of the tenets that, that goes back to us achieving our mission statement. And uh, you know, it's very simple. Uh, all of our acquisitions are financed with two thirds equity and one third debt. And that simple philosophy, that conservative nature of managing our balance sheet has allowed us to get two A ratings and become a $30 billion company today. Well, I look forward to seeing the story play out. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. For more from REIT Week 2019, be sure to visit Nareet's website, REIT.com.